Hi, welcome back to MBA Solutions. I am Shravan, Assistant Professor, BBC, MBA Department, Mysuru. If you are not subscribed to our channel, please press subscribe button and bell icon for notification. In our last video, we have discussed on determination of exchange rate in the spot market. Today, in this video, we are going to learn and understand the determination of exchange rate in the forward market. Let us proceed with a determination. Before we proceed to that, let us recap what is forward market. A market where the exchange of currency takes place in the near future at a specified price. That means, say you want to purchase a dollar, not in this month, say next month. The place where you are purchasing the dollar in the next month is the forward market. The price at which you are purchasing the dollar in the next month is the exchange rate for future delivery. That is the forward exchange rate. The price could be forward premium or forward discount. Say for an example, Today, the price of a dollar is 76 rupees. Now, whether you are purchasing the dollar at 76 rupees in the next month, no. It could be more than 76 or it could be less than 76 also. If you are purchasing the dollar more than 76, it is forward premium. If you are purchasing dollar in the next month less than 76 that is forward discount now we'll discuss exactly what is forward premium and forward discount if the forward rate of currency is greater than the spot market is this set to be forward premium say for an example if the dollar price in the spot market is 55 rupees 50 paisa that means if you purchase today it is 55 rupees 50 paisa but if you purchase after three months it is 56 rupees that means you need to pay additionally another 50 paisa if you purchase after three months that means whether you are paying extra amount or not this is what the forward premium is now we'll go to the forward discount. If the forward price is smaller than the spot price, it is said to be forward discount. Say for an example, the dollar price today, if you purchase, it is 55 rupees 50 paisa. But if you purchase after three months, it is only 55. That means you are paying 50 paisa less if you purchase after three months that means whether you are giving less than what actually it is today or not this is what the forward discount now we'll go further knowing the formula for calculation of premium or discount premium or discount to know this first we need to know how the price has been quoted whether it is quoted directly or whether it is quoted indirectly the direct quote is also known as american terms say for an example one dollar is quoted at 76 that means if it is quote is like this this is direct quote or american quote if the price is quoted in this pattern means the formula is forward rate minus spot rate divided by spot rate into 12 by n into 100 where f is the forward rate s is the spot rate and n is the number of months contract now let us take a problem and understand how to calculate the forward rate whether it is premium or discount a data has been given they told us to calculate 
the forward premium or discount as the case may be spot rate is rupee slash us dollar that means it is a direct quote it is 44.5000 this is the ask price if you want to sell dollar to a seller means he will purchase at 44.5000 but if you want to purchase from the seller means you need to pay 44.7050 this is the bid price for the spot market the same way for the 3 months forward market the quote is 44.7000 this is the ask price if you want to sell a dollar after 3 months to the seller means he will purchase at 44.7000 44.9900 is bid price that means if you want to purchase after 3 months means you need to pay 44.9900 now we need to calculate the forward premium or discount from both seller as well as buyer point of view that is from the ask as well as the bid point of view now we need to calculate the forward premium or discount from the purchaser point of view that is the bidder point of view now the question is whether it is a premium or discount by looking at the data itself only we can say it is a premium if you purchase today you need to pay 44.7050 if you purchase after 3 months, it is 44.9090. That means you are paying some additional amount. So, it is a premium. Now, let us calculate what is the percentage of premium that you are paying. The formula for that is forward price minus spot price divided by spot price into 12 divided by N into 100 the forward price is 44.9090 44.9090 minus spot price spot price is 44.7050 minus 44.7050 divided by spot price that is 44.7050 multiplied by 12 divided by n n is number of months contract here they have given three months forward rate that means it is a three months contract multiplied divided by three into 100 if you minus 44.3090 minus 44.7050 you will get 0 0.2940 divided by 44.7050 into 12 divided by 3 4 into 100 if you substitute you will get the value 2.64 this is percentage that means if you are purchasing after 3 months $1, you need to pay additional 2.64 percentage. Now let us calculate the premium or the discount from the seller point of view. That is as the formula is same. Forward minus spot divided by spot into 12 divided by N into 100 by looking at the data itself only we can say this is a premium because if you sell today he will give 44.5000 but if you sell after three months he will give you 44.7000 let us substitute and get the percentage forward rate is 44.5000 seven triple zero minus spot rate is forty four point five 
triple zero divided by spot rate that is 44.5 triple zero into 12 divided by n n is 3 it is a 3 months forward contract multiplied by 100 44.7 triple zero minus 44.5 triple zero is equal to 0 0.2 triple zero divided by 44.5 triple zero multiplied by 12 divided by 3 is 4 into 100 if you substitute it you will get the value 1.8 that is percentage that means a seller will give you additionally 1.8 percent extra if you sell after three months this is how you are going to determine the exchange rate in the forward market thank you for watching this video we'll meet again until then thank you